is the new iPhone 15 Pro Max, the best phone out there now in early 2024. I'm sure the hardcore Apple fans will shout yes right away. For the most part, my review of this latest fancy phone from Apple backs up its best phone title. But that don't mean there ain't room for improvements in all the important stuff, especially with that Galaxy S24 Ultra looking like some tough competition. As usual, people say Apple's likely getting a bunch of big upgrades ready for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and, and even though we probably got about eight more months before Apple announces that next killer phone one important upgrade, they're sure to have is the main camera. If you care a lot about camera megapixels, you may be let down to hear that Apple doesn't plan to go past the current iPhone 15 Pro Max numbers for the next model. Apple's iPhone 16 is still a long way off, but that hasn't stopped the buzz surrounding the potential design of the device. Rumors are swirling about the experimental phase for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, with some interesting camera configurations being tested. One leak even suggested a fidget spinner-like camera module for the Pro model while another leak hints at a triangular rear camera module that could make the phone look like an electric razor. According to tipster Majin Boo, this unique design choice could be to accommodate larger camera sensors or more lenses. Meanwhile, the latest engineering drawings shared by the same leaker on X give us a glimpse of the possible changes coming to this year's iPhone lineup. The front of the iPhone 16 showcases a unique design with a pill-shaped and circular cutout on the display. This is a departure from the iPhone 15 models, which had the display blacked out in that area. Moving to the back, we find a pair of vertically aligned cameras, most likely the same main and ultra-wide combination as the iPhone 15. According to rumors, Apple is returning to this vertical arrangement to enable spatial video recording. Currently, this feature is only available on the iPhone 15 Pro, which already has vertically aligned cameras. Additionally, there appears to be a standalone flashlight positioned outside the camera block, a result of the block shrinking to fit snugly around the lenses. As we explore the edges of these drawings, we notice what seems to be the outline of a capacitive capture button on the right side, below the power button. This new button is expected to be present on all iPhone 16 models, allowing for quicker photo and video capturing compared to using the on-screen shutter button in the camera app. It's important to note that these drawings do not reveal any internal changes that have been rumored for the iPhone 16. We anticipate that Apple will introduce several AI-powered features for the new iPhones through iOS 18, and there may also be improvements in battery capacity. Now for those of you excited for the Apple iPhone 16 series, we're now going to run through the full specs design and the pricing for each model in the range to help you guys decide which one is right for you. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this, so just skip to the next video. But if you're new here, then hit subscribe now, and we'll get right into it. So first up, we have the standard iPhone 16. With the standard iPhone 16, we get a 6.3-inch OLED display, but unfortunately, this is still going to be an LTPS display. The iPhone 16 is going to have a taller aspect ratio than last year, and it's going to be protected by ceramic shield too. We get the new Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixels selfie camera and Face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 12 megapixels primary camera and a 12 megapixels ultrawide. It's powered by the A18 chipset, and it's likely coming with 6 gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage. It's also powered up by a 3561 milliamp hour battery with 30 watts fast charging, and it's going to come with advanced 5G. Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6E now, it will of course ship with iOS 18, and it's expected to launch from around $850 in September 2024. Now next up, we've got the iPhone 16 Plus. With the iPhone 16 Plus, we get a 6.9 in OLED display, and again, unfortunately, this is another LTPS display. It's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor, and it's protected by Ceramic Shield too. We get the new Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixels selfie cameras and Face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 12 megapixels primary camera and a 12 megapixels ultrawide. It's powered by the A18 chipset, and it's likely going to come with a choice of 6 gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage. It's powered by a 4006 milliamp hour battery with 30 watts fast charging, and it comes with the advanced 5G. Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6E. Now, of course, it ships with iOS 18, and it's expected to launch from around $950 in September 2024. 
Next up, we got the iPhone 16 Pro. Now the iPhone 16 Pro has a 6.3 in 120 Hz LTPO OLED display. It's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor, and the Pro is protected by Ceramic Shield 3. We get the new Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixels selfie camera and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we get a 48 megapixels primary camera, a 48 megapixels ultra wide camera, then we've got a 12 megapixels tetra prism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It's powered up by the A18 Pro chipset, and it comes with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of storage, and it's also powered by a 3450 milliamp hour battery and fast charging is still unknown at the moment, but we do expect some improvements, and of course it comes with the advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. It will of course ship with iOS 18, and it's expected to launch from around $1,100 in September 2024. Now finally, we save the best to last the iPhone 16 Pro Max. With the iPhone 16 Pro Max, we get a 6.9-inch 120Hz LTPO OLED display. Again, like the other phones, it's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor, and it's protected by Ceramic Shield 3. We get the Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixels, selfie cameras, and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 48 megapixels primary camera, a 48 megapixels ultra wide, and a 12 megapixels tetra prism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It's powered up by the A18 Pro chipset. It comes with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of storage, and it's powered up by a 4676 milliamp hour battery. As with the 16 Pro, we don't know the fast charging at the moment, but we do expect to see some improvements. Now it comes up with the advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7, and it will of course ship with iOS 18, and this one's expected to launch around $1,300 in September 24. So overall, the iPhone 16 series is looking like a great addition to the iPhone lineup. More things remain similar. There are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware to power it better and brighter displays. Along with the new battery thermal technology, this should really enhance the experience and work well with the new A features. Now, of course, because of all the similarities to its predecessor, it's probably not going to make anyone with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade, but for anyone with an older iPhone or looking to get their first iPhone, that it's going to be a great choice. As we approach September, keep an eye out for more details on the iPhone 16 lineup, as the rumor mill is likely to continue churning. Once Apple officially announces these devices, we will promptly share our thoughts and verdicts. Until then, stay tuned. Peace out.